Welcome back, Rip Body Yoga, this is Aaron. Let's go over Astavakrasana to Ekapada Kundanyasana. It's a transition from one arm balance to another. It requires a lot of core strength in order to keep your top leg from not touching the floor, or if you do touch the floor, very lightly brush the floor. Um, it's a great transition and uh, it takes some practice, but you'll get it. Here it is. All right, so I will show you how to get into Astavakrasana quickly and then we'll go into the, the uh, ekapada, okay? So right arm up, cross your ankles, weight comes forward, extend your legs out. So here we are in this pose. Now, what you gotta do is press into the floor, use your belly to lift that foot. You see how it's not touching the floor? Then left foot goes straight back. Here we are in ekapada. I'll show you the same thing from this angle. So. Here we are getting into Astavakrasana, hand on the floor, cross the ankles, and lift, straighten the legs. Now use your belly to pull up and your left leg, this leg, so it doesn't touch the floor, now you can extend it back into Ekapada. Good, so that one may take some time to get, but you know what, it's fun. So once you have Astavakrasana, you really got to press the floor away, pull up in your lower belly, which will help you bring your left foot up so we can slide through your arms and back. And then you can go from Ekapada, bring the back leg through and meet in Astavakrasana. So you can go back and forth. It takes the engagement of your belly in order to do that. So Aaron Bennett, Rip Body Yoga, see you soon.